Welcome to week 12 NFL picks and predictions. Last week we went 10 and 4 and we're currently 110 and 58. So obviously I know how to pick a little bit. Like I get some wrong, some right at least, bro. Like I'm getting at least 10 right a week. That's probably the average if, you know, 110 type type. But yeah, this week, bro, we're going to make the picks. I'm going to show y'all. Let's get straight into it. Let's not waste your time. We'll use an ESPN. Um, I got a little thing with my family. You know, we make picks every day and kind of compare. I'm up in by like six points. But it's besides the point, you can see that we 110 and 56 last week right here, 10 and 4. The two, four, the four losses could have gone either way, bro. It really could have gone either way. But to start us off, trap game for the Steelers on the road in the division. It's like, bruh, you know, it could go either way, if I'm going to be honest. Um, I know the Browns are terrible, but you could imagine tomorrow watching this game and Jameis goes off for 300 yards and, like, three touchdowns. But I'm not one of those people. I'm going to stay and pick the Steelers to get a big win and go to 9-2 and two in the AFC North, looking like one of the best teams in the league. Um, yeah, they're tough. They'll have the same record as the Bills if they get this win. And we get the Vikings against the Rascal Chicago Bears, bruv. I don't know why I'm speaking like that, but it's besides the point. I'm not going to lie, bro. Um, this is one of my upsets of the week. The Vikings at the Bears. Um, and I'm taking the Vikes. Psych! I'm taking the Bears. That wasn't even climactic at all. That's on me, bro. I'm taking the Bears at home. Um, I know this probably seems a little crazy, <clears throat> but I think Sam Darnold has a bad game. I just have a feeling Sam Darnold goes into Chicago, has a bad game, and, you know, the Bears make enough plays to win the game because this is the type of game they win. They've lost, what, like four games in a row, and they look terrible. This is the type of game they win. Right here. All right, this is a very underrated game, bro. I'm not going to lie. The Lions at the Colts. Um, my gut is telling me to go with the Colts. I'm not going to lie. And I like to trust my gut all the time. Literally just because, like, I don't know, just for some reason, I feel like the Colts might be able to put a stop to them. Um, but I'm going to take the safe pick and keep the Lions. I think their run streak continues and they go to 10-1 and one in the NFC. But if you pick the Colts um, and you're a gambling man, I would take the Colts plus 8, plus 10, whatever they are. I would, I would, I would take the Colts plus 10. I don't think they're going to get blown up. Like, I think it's going to be close. Or they might mess around and win. Could I come back to this and be completely wrong? Yes, I could. But we're going to take the Lions for now. I think that's solid. Patriots at Dolphins. Big game for the Dolphins to get to 5-6. and six And, you know, get closer and closer to potentially actually making the playoffs. Um, so I think the Dolphins have to handle this one at home against the Patriots, who don't look too bad, actually. You know, like, I think the Patriots for the rest of the season can play spoiler for a lot of the teams that they have to play. And this is a, one of those games that they can play spoiler in and, you know, upset the Dolphins at home. But I'm still going to take the Dolphins at home. Um, I think they've been playing well these last few weeks. All four games that two has been back, I think he's played well. I know I think they're 2-2 two and two, uh, since he's been back. They lost the first two games, and they won the last two. Um, he's not playing insane, but they definitely look like a proper football team with Tua back in the lineup. Tampa Bay Bucks at the New York Giants. Tommy DeVito. Hey, Gabagoo. Hey, Gabagoo, we got Tommy DeVito taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But I think Baker Mayfield comes into MetLife and stomps the Giants. I would take the Bucks by like 15, if I'm going to be honest. Um, that Giants run game. I think if Mike Evans is back, for sure taking the Bucks plus, I mean, minus like 10 or whatever the line is. For Shoddy. Next, we get America's team against the Washington Commanders. I don't know why America's team is the Cowboys. It's got to be because they were good in the early 90s. Like, they was lit then. They won, what, like three three championships at that time? Um, they don't look good. Cooper Rush did throw for like 300 and something yards this past week. So that was cool. But I think the Washington Commanders bounce back after a tough L against Philly and take this one against the Cowboys to get to 8-4 and four and completely end the Dallas Cowboys season, even though it was kind of already over. Chiefs. At Panthers. I'm going to be honest. If the Chiefs did not lose last week to the Bills, I think they lose this game, bro. I literally think they lose this game if they didn't lose last week. But the fact that they lost to the Bills last week, it just tells me that they're going to win this game against the Panthers. The Panthers are coming off a bye. Bryce Young's feeling himself, but 
It's still the Chiefs, bro, and it's the Panthers. Like, what are we really talking about? Like, one team's good, one team's bad. I think it's a simple pick. Tennessee Titans at the Houston Texans, a divisional matchup at 10 a.m. or 1 p.m., depending on where you're from. Uh, Titans have a really good defense. The Houston Texans, not so much. Um, they have a lot of, they have big playmakers, but as a whole, their defense is, eh. You know, Will, Will Anderson is a demon. Neil Hunter is a demon. Their secondary can all make plays, but for some reason the Texans it just seem like frauds to me. But they're not big enough frauds to lose to Tennessee at home. I'll be honest on that one. To Denver Broncos against the Las Vegas Raiders. The Raiders. Um, feeling nicey. Yes, sir, John Gruden. Uh, I'm taking the Broncos, bro. Bo Nix is balling. He gets them to 7-5. and five. Got them looking good heading into... You know, the last five, six games of the season. I think Bo... Oh, this did not save. I think Bo Nix gets it done against the Raiders. I don't know who's playing for the Raiders. Minshew or AOC. Whoever it is, don't matter. Next up. I don't know about injuries yet. It's still Wednesday, bro. Like, it's still Wednesday. So, it's kind of tough. Like, all the picks aren't really in yet. But, I'm taking the Niners, bro. I'm taking the Niners. I know the Packers was on that. When they went to Niners last year and then ended up losing. Um, but I think George Kittle will be back. Jawan Jennings is playing well. Debo Samuel's playing well. Uh, actually, let me take that back. Debo's not playing well. Jawan Jennings and George Kittle playing well. McCaffrey's back. Um, I do like I do like the Packers, though. I think Josh Jacobs is one of the best pickups in this free agency. Um, you know, all the running backs that got moved around has been playing really well. Derrick Henry, Saquon, obviously. But I think the Niners go into Green Bay and get a much-needed win. It's like a must-win game for the Niners. Like, if they lose this game, then the Packers have an up on them in the division. I'm not in the division. In the conference, in the NFC. And they're 5-6, and six, bro. Like, that's not good. Um, so I think they, this is a must-win for them against the NFC opponent that's in the wild-card hunt. Because it's not looking like they're going to win their division. They're in third place at 7-3. and three. So they need this win, and it's only going to help them out by giving a team ahead of them another loss. They'll be a game back if they get this win. This is probably the toughest game of the week for me, Cardinals at Seattle. Um, Kyler Murray's looked really good. Seattle got a big win last week against uh, the team we're talking about in the 49ers. But, bro, literally everybody in this division could be 6-5 and five after the week. If the Niners, the Seahawks, and the Rams all win, everybody will be 6-5. and five. But, as an Eagles fan, I hope that don't win because, you know, the next game I'm about to pick is the Eagles game. You feel me? You feel me? Uh, with that being said, I'm taking the Arizona Cardinals on the road to go into Seattle, the 12th man, and get the dub over Geno Smith. I just think, I don't know, I believe in Kyler a lot more right now than I do Geno, and that's really where this matchup comes down to it for me. I just have more faith in one of the quarterbacks. Right here. Philadelphia Eagles, Los Angeles Rams. I'm going to the game. If you're going to the game and you made it this far into the video, I freaking love you. Hit me up. If you want to meet me, I don't know if I really have fans like that. I kind of just make video talk mess on tear. But if you want to say what's up, I'll dap you up and say what's up. What's good, gang? Type, type. Uh, but, yeah, I'm taking the Eagles, bro. I'm taking the Eagles at the Rams. It's going to be a lit game. Um, the Rams have a chance to get a big win. The Eagles have a chance to keep their hot streak going. And I think they do that. Um in L.A. It's going to be a lot of Eagles fans there. I'll tell you that. And then, Monday Night Football. We got another game in L.A. We got the Ravens at the Chargers. It's a big game, bro. It's two wild card teams. Chargers are ahead of the Ravens in the wild card right now. I would say it's a must win for the Ravens. Um, on the road, Justin Herbert's been balling. Uh, Lamar Jackson's been balling. But I'm not going to lie. If they just hand the ball off to Derrick Henry 20 times, they're going to win the game. It is the Harbaugh Bros matchup, which is pretty cool. Um, it's going to be a heavily watched game on ESPN on Monday night, but I'm going to have to go with the Baltimore Ravens to get the dub right here in a decently high scoring game. I'm going to say it's 54 combined points, uh, but yeah, this is what I'm looking at, bro. We got Ravens over Chargers, Eagles over Rams, Cardinals over Seattle, 49ers over Packers, Broncos over Raiders, Texans over Titans, Chiefs over Panthers, Commanders over Cowboys, Buccaneers over Giants, Dolphins over Patriots, Lions over Colts, Bears over Vikings, and Steelers over Browns. A lot of road teams predicted to win this week. But, you know, we'll see. This is probably one of the harder weeks, I think, uh, to make picks. Like, besides, I don't think there's any locks this week. Like, looking at these games, I can see any all of these games go either way. 
literally could see all of these games go either way. So it's going to be a tough week to bet for you gamblers out there. Um, and for me, I hope I go 13-0. and 0. But with that being said, man, I appreciate y'all for tuning into the picks. I know these aren't y'all favorite videos, but whoever's watching and staying the long, long enough to actually keep watching, I appreciate y'all. We're going to be back with more videos coming out. going to get some NBA videos out. And, yeah, hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you want to see next. But for now, we outie.